Here's a quick walkthrough of how to use Blu-ray to DVD converter software by VSO Software. So I'm going to start the software by double-clicking on the icon that's on my desktop. And here we see the applications opened. So for the first example, I'd like to use a file I've already ripped onto my hard drive. So I'm going to load that file. It's uh, Gray's Anatomy. And so I load the file. And here I can see the episodes have loaded. And I can rename my project here if I'd like. So I can see that's taken effect here. So what files do I want to convert? I just check those files accordingly. And depending on the one I have the cursor on, I can select the audio files I also want to convert. So I could use English, French, and German. And I can also do the same thing for the subtitles, and those have all been checked. So if I click on episode 2, I can again reselect the files I want to have converted along with that, and so forth. Alright, but let's say we have a file we'd like to convert to DVD, but it's on a Blu-ray disc. So to do that, I insert my Blu-ray disc into my drive by putting the disc into the the Blu-ray uh, reader or writer that I have. I do have any DVD uh, enabled and activated here. It should scan the disc and therefore remove the protection because it is a protected Blu-ray disc and I want to make my personal copy so I do need any DVD running to remove the protection if the disc does have protection on it. So the disc has been scanned so normally if I select my drive here because I want to load the files from my drive. The software scans that and loads the files into the interface. So I do see my DVD and the contents here. So I have the main movie and I also have bonus videos. Uh, so it's been able to load because any DVD removed the protection and the software is able to read the contents of the DVD. So here I could select to uh, convert the bonus videos as well, but for the sake I'll just use the main movie and select the audio tracks that I want to go along with it. This disc apparently only has French, so I've selected French and I'll do the same for the subtitles. I need to have my file selected. And there we go. So I click on next. I select my output settings, so I'd like to put that in NTSC and the best quality possible. My target size, I could select a double layer disc or a single layer disc or some custom size. My output folder, uh, I also have the choice to have the DVD title and the DVD menu template. I have different menu templates I can use. And it talks about the chapters, keep source chapters. So I could generate automatic chapters, don't use any chapters, or keep the source. I think it would be best to keep the source chapters, that way I'll know what chapters were on the original film. And I also have an option here to burn the final results. Uh, so that's what I want to do. I want to convert and burn from my Blu-ray to blank DVD. So I'll check that also. So I click on next step. and I can hear the computer going and the conversion has started. So if I have a separate burner I can insert my blank DVD or I'll wait till the conversion is finished and I'll remove the Blu-ray disc and insert a blank DVD and that's all there is to it. So VSO's got a good little project product here so it's uh, Blu-ray to DVD by VSO. Anyway that's for the guide. Thanks for watching.